And so we've talked in the intro about the different treatment options that have come available in the last five to six years and how those have been a game changer for patients, but those all use heat. And so we're going to talk about today's treatment option in SPFA and how it's different in that it is a non-thermal treatment. So explain how in the world we could use a treatment to kill a thyroid nodule, but it doesn't use heat if all of these other ones do. And when you think of laser, as you said, and microwave and RFA, and even cryo, which is cold, we're using thermal, right? And the concept is, is that you're destroying the tissues, cells, connective tissue, fibrous tissue inside the thyroid nodule, and you're causing an injury where there's going to be a coagulative necrosis. And so the body then responds to that and it sort of resorbs that from the inside. What we're talking about though here is with electrical energy, when you give an electrical current to these cells, what it does is the cells have a plasma membrane around it and then a nuclear membrane around the nucleus, which is all the DNA material and the organelles and the machinery that helps to sort of help the cells do what they need to do. When you give the electrical energy is that it creates little pores in the plasma membrane and in the nucleus. The cells don't have the machinery anymore to live and the cells themselves specifically undergo a very natural process what we know is apoptosis, which happens in our bodies daily, and cells turn over, undergoing a program cell death, very natural, without inflammation being induced, without the response that you see when we have a coagulation necrosis and an exuberant inflammatory response. And those cells selectively then, because they're making up a substantial amount of that thyroid nodule, when they die off, the nodule decreases in volume.